A lot of people stepping into the no-code app development space, they think that as long as they can learn how to use a no-code platform, they're pretty much good to go. But the reality is there are underlying development methodologies that must be in place in order to leverage those no-code tools correctly and build a scalable, well-performing app that you can actually turn into a business or grow within an existing business. These methodologies are things we teach to our own clients. A few of them in particular are the development order that they follow. So for example, when you are building any feature of your app, there's a general development order of approaching the back end first, the database structure, then approaching the front end design, and then connecting the two. And you'll repeat that procedure for every different feature that you build within your app. This allows you to build the app in a logical order of steps versus jumping around from place to place. On a larger scale, you wanna build the main components of your app in a very specific order. So you do wanna start with the foundation of your app, the database, the overall app architecture. Then you wanna layer on those custom features. And the way in which you layer those on should also follow a specific series of steps. So you wanna approach your development from a user's journey perspective. How is a user going to navigate and interact with your app from start to finish? Well, you wanna use that journey as sort of like a roadmap to help you build your app's features in the correct order. That's gonna help you test your app a lot more easily and overall just build in a logical way. So it's important, yes, to learn how to use those no-code tools, but it's also critical that you leverage methodologies to go along with them. Thank you.